Okay, today I am going to show you how how you can connect your Arduino board, you know, in this case I will use a you know Arduino board. Using you can connect your Arduino board to any device which is able to run a Modbus master. Okay or which is able to communicate using a uh, Modbus RTU uh, protocol. So I will assume that you are familiar with Modbus communication and in this case and also with the Arduino Uno IDE, uh, the uh, development uh, environment of Arduino that I am using here, Arduino 1.8.10. Okay, I will use also another tool which is QModbus, uh, just to be sure that uh, we are in fact able to communicate with uh, our master, Modbus master. So what I want to do here is I, I, I want that the Arduino you know to function as a slave, Modbus slave, and then uh, we can like uh, uh, send and receive data from the master. So for that, I will use this library. The first, so you you can start with this um, code that I will put in my GitHub account, so you are able to use it. Or if you want to uh, introduce some changes of your own, well, that is also possible. But here I, I will I'm going to show you a, a, a simple example of uh, this uh, um, module slave. So the first step is you have to include this library that is also available in GitHub. You can. Uh, search this simple module slave and uh, in many accounts they have used this one so they say that this simple modbus supports function 3 6 and 16. in this case we will be uh, using only um, function 3 and 6. so they say not the arduino serial ring buffer is 64 bytes 32 registers and uh, so in uh, function 3 the master will attempt to read 5 bytes for ID function and number of bytes so you can only request 29 registers of data uh, for function 3. In function 16 the master will attempt to write uh, 9 bytes Okay, so you can only write 27 registers in function 16. So the first thing is I will use this enumeration here where I will create AI, AI0 is, will be in our address 0 like this here and then I will create 5 analog inputs, five analog outputs, five digital inputs, and five digital outputs. Of course, you can create as many as you want, uh, provided that is, that is complying with uh, Modbus addresses. And uh, okay, so we also have this uh, register for total errors. And then we are going to create this register holding tracks to record the Modbus data. Okay, so in setup, it's very easy. We are going to use this function, Modbus configure serial port, Nine six nine thousand six hundred. This is the uh, bit per second rate, and then 
the uh, format will be eight bits of data, non parity, and one bit of stub. Then we have uh, this is the address, and uh, this is the size, and this is the uh, register where we are going to uh, record this data there. Okay, well, then, then we are going to use this uh, um, LED just to test uh, when we are able to write using the function 16. Okay, so we have this. We are going to, to initialize the analog input 0 with uh, 0 value here and then we go to this loop, the main loop. In the main loop we are going to update the values of all our analog inputs and digital inputs and if, if we receive in this, in this case, uh, in this register D double W0, which is in fact this one, number 15, address number 15. We are going to turn off or on the uh, LED built-in in the Arduino board. Okay, so does it, then we update and we take the number of errors here in this register also. So as you see, it's very simple. So let's upload this code to the Arduino board. Of course, I, I already have connected my Arduino board to my laptop in COM3. And now it's compiling. And that's it. So now it's working. We can see here the uploading is done. And then we are going to use, as I told you, this tool here. QModbus Income 3, 9600 bits per second. And here we have uh, the number of data, stop bits one, no parity, that's fine. Then slave is one, and we're going to use function number three. And then we are, let's read 21 registers because it's in the limits. Okay, so you see, we can read, uh, if we read again, this is this one is increasing. This is the register that is always increasing, like a counter. Okay, it works. Then to test, maybe we can try to write single register, which is this one. This one, uh, number 15. Okay. So, the data can send any data that we want, but maybe this one. 15 and send. So I can see in my Arduino board that the LED is now on, in fact. And then if we send again zero, we can see that it, it turned off. So, okay. In the next video, I am going to show you how, how we can connect 
there's a real board to out our codices environment so that we can use this uh, Arduino board to as a um, device in order, in order to interact with external um, elements uh, using codices and uh, you know in, in a low cost environment because uh, codices is also a free um, or in fact you can use codices for free and uh, in, in this way, we can uh, test our programming on in like a, in, you can imagine that you, you are using, you will be using uh, industrial software, in fact, um, industrial control uh, and software, but using the Arduino board through this uh, modcom communication as a device to interact with the external sensors and actuators. Okay, see you next video.